started. I'm gonna get started. What do you miss? You miss mother uh just came on and she sound good. Yes, sir. She didn't sound so good, she started singing the song. Uh-huh. I felt like running. Uh, I felt like running, praising God for his goodness and his mercy towards us, the children of men. God is a good God, and he loves his people. Uh-huh. He able to do above we can even think or imagine. Our God is wonderful. Our God is awesome. We serve a loving God, a loving God. Yes, sir. We serve a loving God who heard the cry. Uh-huh. And he don't only hear the cry of his people, but he answers the cry of his people. Because he all powers in his hand and he able to do it. So he answered his people. And I just want to thank him for his goodness. Mm -hmm. Thank him for his mercy. Thank him for his love and kindness. Oh, he's so wonderful. He's so awesome. And I was thinking earlier today, I ain't going to hold you long. I promise you. Uh-huh. Sin, sin, sin. I'm so glad we have a merciful God. I'm so glad our God is a forgiving God because when I think back over my life, the things I have done in my life, when I was in sin, I should have been cut off. I, I could have died in, this, in sin. And he didn't even have to forgive me. But he had mercy on little old me. He had mercy. Somebody said his compassion fell or not. He had mercy. He showed love toward me. Opened my blinded eyes and called me to see I was going down. Sin, sin. I know the Bible says somewhere I believe what David said. We are fearfully. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. Uh-huh. He made us that way. But sin got in there. Sin got in. Sin got in there. We were born. Somebody pick it up and said, we were born in sin. Born into this thing. Uh-huh. We don't have to do nothing. We just be born. We already, it's, it's in our nature. We, we born in sin. And shaping iniquity. Yes, sir. Sin is the cause of it all. Sin corrupt what God made perfect and, and upright. Because he made man perfect and upright. But sin got in there to corrupt us. But thank God for his mercy. Thank God for his love. What is sin? Sin is the transgression against a, a holy God, the law of God. Sin, sin. God made things holy. He's, he looked and saw it was good. But sin got in there and messed everything up. Uh-huh, messed everything up. Sin got in there. Sin is transgression against the law, the law of God, and we took on a corrupt nature. So I was thinking about... Uh, my little girl, my little girl, I was thinking about Yana. How now, Quilla take her to church, and y'all have seen her, but now she go to the altar, lift up her hand. You know, you got to push them a little bit, because the Bible's a train up a child in the way that she'll go. And I was thinking about this COVID, being that we won't been going to the church for about two, a little over two years. You know what I mean? So the ones that were, tr were trying to be uh, coming in the presence of the Lord, They've been away from the presence of the Lord for a long period of time. So the, the, almost the interest, the interest uh, is, is, is almost gone. See, because the devil, he come to steal, kill, and destroy. So what little, what little they was getting out of, what, whatever they was getting out of, they missed that for two and a half years almost, whatever it is, cause since this COVID hit. They missed being in the presence of God. They missed hearing the saints of God pray and sing and magnify our God. They miss all these wonderful things. So now we've been I've been pushing my little girl, me and Quilla been pushing my, my daughter. She I know she probably hate me call her little, but she's 12 years old now. And you know, uh she coming to the knowledge and understanding that you know you 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 learning more and more things, you you die in your sins, you, your soul gonna be lost for all eternity. I don't care. I don't care if you might be young, because the young is going away from here. You listen to the news and all those things. People are killing the young as well as the old. It don't matter. They don't discriminate. Death is walking, and people are evil and cruel, just killing up folks. So you die young, 
It don't matter how you died, whether it was an accident or somebody accidentally shot you or ran over you or whatever. Uh-huh. Might not have been your fault. You might have just walking down the street or something. But if you die and, and not have a relationship with God, not know God, your soul is lost for all eternity because you were born in sin. And sin is in your members. Uh-huh. And we have a sinful nature. That's why we got to teach him. That's why Christ died. Uh-huh. Shed his blood that we might have a right to the tree of life, that we might live. That's why it's important. It's important. You know, we train our, we try to train our children and, and push them. You got to push them. You got to push them because it's in our nature. We don't want to go to church. Even grown folk don't want to go to church. I ain't just talking about the children, but even grown folk don't. You got to push them. Come on here. When you are under my authority, come on here. It's, it's up to me to push you and show you the way, to teach you the way, and try to get it instilled in you uh huh. before you get too old and it get too late. Yes, son, you want to do your own thing, and then you get lost up, trapped up in a world of sin and don't know how to get escape, don't know how to get out. It's hard for you because you never heard about this one called Jesus. You never know this one can wash you clean and take away your take away all your sin. You never, never experienced him for yourself. You might have heard about him, but you never really experienced him for yourself. So I tell my daughter, my young girl, I said, come on now, come on up to the altar. Uh-huh. When you go to the altar, come on, lift up your hand. Open your mouth and start to give him thanks and praise. So you'll know you experience him for yourself. Because if you experience him for yourself, can't nobody tell you that God is not real. Can't nobody tell you that God is dead. Uh-huh. Can't nobody tell you once you experience this thing down on the inside, can't nobody take this from you. Because you experienced it for yourself. Mm -hmm. So you know, because the Bible talk about there is a generation. I'm talking about sin. There is a generation who are pure, who are clean in their own eyes. And that's this generation. I'm good. I'm good. You ask me, I'm good. I'm good. And you still living in sin. You still cussing. You still stealing. You still fornicating. You, you're doing all these ungodly lying and cheating and all these things are the works of the flesh. Because you're walking in your youth in the, in the works of walking after the flesh. Uh huh. Sinful lust. Youthful lust. Falling after youthful lust, the Bible calls it. you walking in sin, but you're saying, I'm good. I'm good. No, you ain't good. Because if you die, if death happened to knock on your door, and you don't know this one called Jesus, and the pardon of your sin, you didn't ask for forgiveness and ask him to have mercy. You didn't ask him to save you and fear you. you. You never experienced him. Then your soul is lost for all eternity. So I push it to the altar. Come on. I know you might be mad with me, but come on. Come on, go up here and, and, and get into the presence of our God. Just don't stand here, but raise up your hand and, and, and open your mouth. Uh-huh. Because when you want something, when you want something from God, uh-huh, you... When you want something from me, you open your mouth and tell me loud and clear uh -huh, that I can hear you real good. Uh -huh, you get a little loud sometimes. Yeah, yeah, daddy, can you, can you do this? Yeah, daddy, uh, I don't want, you You know how your kids are. They don't want to do this and don't want to do that. They'll show you, they'll talk literally. They don't, mm -hmm, don't do that. They talk loud with authority. So I said, when you go to the altar, you talk, open your mouth, say, Lord, save me, Lord. Uh -huh. Call on him. Thank you, Jesus. Tell him. Thank you. Tell him. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Give him some praise from the depths of your soul. And the more you do it, he just might touch you. You just might enter into the presence of our God. Uh -huh. Because the Bible says, taste, taste and see that the Lord is good. But there is a generation who are pure in their own eyes. The Bible said, but they haven't been washed. I'm good. I'm clean. I'm all right. Uh-huh. Yeah, but you haven't been washed from all the filthiness that's in the world. You haven't been washed from all the uncleanness that's in the world because you're still in sin. You still have this corrupted nature. You got to be changed. That's why he told Nicodemus, uh, Nicodemus, you were born one time in the world, but that's not good enough now. Uh huh. You got to be born again. You got to be born of the Spirit of God. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. You got to be baptized in the Holy Ghost. 
Woo, thank you, Jesus. Uh -huh. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Let me see here. Let me see here. Sin is deceitful. Sin is deceitful. I'm here to deceive you. You think you, you think you living. You think you having a good time. But the Bible says the pledge of sin is only for a short time. It's only for a season. Uh-huh. But the, in the wages of sin is death. You're going to die. You got to pay the price when you die in sin. And that's a price don't nobody really want to pay if you know they really, the, the penalty of sin. Uh-huh. Death. And death lasts for all eternity. I ain't, I'm not talking about just this natural death. If that was all to it, this body just lay down and die, and that, that be no more, that was all to it, uh, it might be all right. But this soul got, this soul got to go somewhere uh -huh, and stand before a holy God, one who hates sin. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Hate it with a passion. Yes, sir. He gave the law. He gave the law. The, the Bible said the law came by Moses. Uh-huh. And the law is good and holy. The law came by Moses. Yes, sir. Moses, God spoke into Moses and gave Moses the law. What thou shalt not, thou shalt not, thou shalt love the Lord thy God. Thou shalt not commit all these laws. Honor thy mother and father. God gave you the law. Thou shalt have no other God before me. He gave you law how to govern yourself. Because he is holy. And he wants you to be holy. Yes, sir. But sin, and when he gave this good and, and holy law, uh-huh, and just to let you know how how bad sin really was. Before the law, I was a liar, Paul said. But when the law came, uh-huh, it showed me sin and I died. Yes, sir, because in my flesh, in my flesh, in me, because I'm born in sin, in my members, uh-huh, in my flesh there is dwelling no good thing. Because I was born in it. It's a part of my memory. Somewhere he picked it up and said, for what I would do, I do not. I don't do those things that I should do. What I should do, I should be good. I shouldn't walk good. I shouldn't steal key. I shouldn't lie and all these things. I shouldn't do that. Uh-huh. And I don't want to do it. Uh-huh. But my members, my members, there's a law in my members warring against the law of my mind. And he's the old wretched man that I am who is able to deliver me. I want to do good. I, I desire to do good. But when evil is always present, there's something in me uh -huh, pushing me the other direction. They used to have on the TV, on the cartoon, you had an angel on, the, on one side, the devil on the other side. Uh -huh, that's like the law. They're like sin on one side and, and the angel on the other side, righteousness and the holiness on the other side telling you, uh -huh, I wouldn't do that. The devil said, go ahead and do it, boy. Yes, sir. You shouldn't go that way. The devil said, go ahead and do it, boy. Go on that way. Uh-huh. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy the pleasure. Uh-huh. Because it, it feels good. Uh-huh. It look good. Uh-huh. It even tastes good. Yes, sir. Go ahead and do it. Uh, yes, sir. That angel telling you on the other side, don't do it. That's a penalty. You're going to have to pay the price. And, and you don't want to pay that price. Death is down that road. Yes, sir. Because it said, when, when sin is conceived, it brings forth death. Well, no, when it finishes, it brings forth death. When lust is conceived, it brings forth sin. And sin, when it finishes, it brings forth death. And the wages of sin is death. And we don't want that. Let's see what it said here. Let's see what it said here. Uh-huh. Now, this is in Romans. Now, now. I'm still talking about sin. I think I got... Got to everything I was talking about. Yeah, that's why I was talking about teaching my children, teaching my daughter, uh huh, how to go before God, training them how you how you how you walk up before God, how you enter into the presence of God. It said, go before Him with with thanksgiving. It said, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All you land and serve the Lord with with gladness. Come, come, let us come before His presence with singing, uh huh. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that made us and not we ourselves. Uh -huh. We are both We are both with a price, the precious blood of the lamb. It's an enter into the gates. Come on into the gates with thanksgiving and to his courts with praise. So when you go up to the altar, uh -huh, go with a praise on your lips. 
Go with joy down. Go with a song in, in your heart. Uh huh. Be thankful unto the Lord. When you start to go into the altar, get your mind made up. I, I want something. I need something from the Lord. And I ain't just talking about worldly stuff. But I need a, my soul to be saved. Uh -huh. I want to give, give God thanks. I want to praise his holy name because of who he is. Yeah, so let's see what it says. Yes, uh, I'm so glad. Like I started off, I'm so glad that God, God is a forgiving God. Because when I think about all the things I've done, uh -huh, you don't think when you're in your youth, you don't think about all these things, how you... Uh, how you trespassing against the law of God, how you living in sin and doing all these wrong things. You just enjoying that moment, that time. Uh-huh. And you don't really know the you don't really understand the consequences behind this thing. How the people you hurting and how you hurt God. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Because because God hates sin. And you still in constant living sin. That's why he said he is angry with the wicked every day because he made a way of escape. Let's see here. But I'm so glad he's forgiven. As I was laying on my bed, I was starting to thank God because he forgave me for, for this I've done, for th that I've done, uh -huh. for this way I live, uh -huh. how, I, how I spoke this way and talked this way and how I was so nasty and filthy. Uh -huh. I thank God for forgiving me for all, all my uncleanness, all my filthiness. Thank God for his mercy. It's a, the law came by Moses. But that's why it's so important that we teach our children about Jesus the Christ, the anointed one, the Savior. It's so important that we train them uh -huh, in the way that they should go. Uh -huh. I'm, and I'm working on seek ye the, the old path. I'm working on the old path because in this new way, uh -huh, this new way ain't leading to nowhere but trying to deceive them. And they're still on that same road of death. But I'm seeking the old path, like the Bible says, we're in the good way. I want to tell about the old path. I want to tell about the way called holiness, because the highway shall be there. And a way, and it shall be called the way of holiness. And no unclean thing. Woo, so you got to be clean. You got to be holy. You got to be sanctified. I know she might not agree with me sometimes, but you got to walk right. You got to talk right. You got to even this thing, this thing, this way called holiness. It 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 it, it, it applied to every part of you, inside and out. Sanctification applied to every part. It governed every part of you. The way you walk, the way you talk, uh huh. The way you live, the way even down to the way you dress. This thing called holiness gonna change your whole lifestyle. And he said, be ye holy. I want you to be, I made you first. When I first created you, I made you in my own image. I made you, I made you holy. I made you clean. Uh -huh. But sin got it now to defile you. Now I got to teach you, I got to train you. I got to show you this way called holiness. Because since we are born in sin, you ain't got to teach them how to sin. You ain't got to teach them. It's already in the nature. Just give them a little time. And that sin will start to work in the way out. They can lie on their own. They know how to steal. You ain't got to teach them how to steal. They know how to steal on their own. Uh -huh. They know how to be nasty on their own. Yes, sir. But to live holy, we got to be taught this way. That's why Jesus came. To make the Father known unto his, to us. To make the... The, the way of this way called holiness is really revealed unto us. That's it. Let's see. For I know that Romans eighteen, Romans seven, Romans seven eighteen. For I know, I, for I not, uh, know that in me, that is in my flesh, dwelling no good thing. For it, for the will is present. I got a will is present with me. The will I want to do, I told you that if you know, I want to do it, the will is, but how to perform that which is good. I find, I don't find it. I search my memories and things, I don't, I don't find it. Uh-huh, the will, my mind, uh-huh, is in me. Uh-huh, the will to do good, but I don't have the, the power to do good. That's why I got to get this one called the Holy Ghost, the third person in the Godhead. I got to get the, get the Spirit of Christ dwelling on down on the inside. It's very important to get him so he'll be.
be in you and giving you power to overcome sin, to overcome your flesh. Uh oh, let's see what it said here. Lord have mercy. I won't plan to go this far. Let's see, but I'm gonna go a little bit farther. For the good that I would do, the good that I would do, do not. For the good that I would, I do not. Uh huh. I know I want to do good. I should do good, but I don't do it. But the evil which which I would not, that thing I know I shouldn't do, hey, I'm running towards it. Uh huh. I'm going. I'm going on a fast pace towards it. Let's see what it says. That I do. Now, if I do that, I would not. It is no more I. It is no more I to do it, but sin. Sin dwelling in me. That's what it says. Sin is, but the sin that dwelleth in me. So I got to get this sin out of me. And the only way I get this sin out of me is to get Jesus Christ down in me. Yes, sir. I got to get him down on in, in me. Let's see what it says. I find then, I find then, this thing, I, since I sat down and thought about this thing, I find then a law. I find a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. For I delight in the law of God. I delight in the law of God after the inward man. The inward man want to do right. Uh-huh. I delight after the law of God with the inner man. But I see another memo. As I observe this thing, I see another law. Two laws. Uh-huh. Two laws. I see another law. The law of God and the law of the flesh. I see another law in my members, in my, my tongue, in my hand, in my feet. Oh, I see them all. I see another law taking control of me. In my members. And this law is warring against. Pulling against. My mind said do this. The inward man said do this. But my, the law that's in my members saying do that. Though that devil do this. Uh-huh. What I would not do. Do this. What I should do. I don't do it. That angel said don't do it son. Don't. See what I'm saying. There's a law of war. So I got a war going on. I got a fight going on. So I need some power down on the inside so I can so I can crucify this flesh all over. Yes, sir. Let's see. Let's see. But I see another law in my memory. War against the law of my mind. Bringing me. This law is so, so strong. It brings me into captivity. It captivates me. It brings me. It locks me down and holds me. Uh, I can't get away from this thing because it's all in my members. Let's see, bring me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. Oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? That's why Christ died. But he got the authority, he got the power to deliver us, to save us. Let's see. I thank God that through Jesus Christ, our Lord. So then, with my mind, with my mind, I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh, the law of sin. And we don't want to do the second part. We don't want to serve um, the law of sin at all. We want to do away with sin. Let's see what it says here. There, there is therefore now, now, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. That's why I'm telling my daughter, get in him while you're young. Find out about this one called Jesus while you're young. Yield your members to, to the law of God. Uh huh. Get introduced to Jesus Christ. That's what I'm trying to do. Introduce her to Jesus Christ that she might know him for herself. Because see, if you get in Jesus Christ and he get in you, now there is no condemnation. You won't be condemned with the world because the world is condemned already because of sin. Men love darkness rather than light. That's why they don't want to hear the law of God. That's why they don't want to obey the law of God because they love, uh-huh, that these are evil. They love sin. Let's see. Let's see. The, so if I get in Christ Jesus, now there is no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus 
who walk, that's the eighth chapter of Romans, who walk not after the flesh. We ain't walking after the flesh again no more. That's why he told us to be born again. We when we when we sanctify ourselves and come out, that's why I played that song in the beginning. Goodbye, world. I stay no longer with you. Goodbye, pleasures of sin. I stay no longer with you. I made up my mind. See, you got to, to the older folks, she's saying, she said, you got to have a well-made up mind to serve the Lord. Uh-huh. So I made up my mind. That's what I want to get. I'm going to push her and push her and encourage her to she make up in her mind. Uh-huh. Not just do it because I tell you to do it, but do it because it's made up in your mind. Uh-huh. I'm going God's way now. I've been introduced to this thing. Uh-huh. You might uh, stumble a little bit. You might stray. But if I embed this thing in you, when you were, when God allows situations and circumstances to come into your life, you might, you just might, he give you a moment of clarity and allow you to realize, uh-huh, that there is God. Not was that there is God. And, and you can you can come out this thing. You can come out of sin because you've been induced to there is a way called holiness. Uh-huh. And all you gotta do is call on it on the name of Jesus. For he that calleth on the name of the Lord, they shall be saved. So I'm trying to instill this thing. And I'm just encouraging each and one every one of you to start to pushing your children, pushing them. Uh-huh. Come on. Come on, I don't know. you might not like it, but you got to go. Come on, let's go into the house of the Lord. Uh huh. I'm making all we see because we you don't watch it. We we'll start to making all the excuses why we don't why we don't bring them and all that. And we let them get the best of us, and they start telling you why they ain't going. Uh huh. But no, my mama made us go. Come on, go with me. Uh huh. You going whether you like it or not, and you better sit there with a smile on your face. Yes, sir. And introduce to me. To the Lord now, since you brought me to church, now I got to get your mind in church. That's what I'm trying to do. Get your mind in in Christ. Start to write down little things. Start to thinking uh, on the goodness of the Lord. Thinking on the little things. You know, you know, he he woke you up this morning. Uh huh. You didn't get up on your own. Uh, just hold your breath a minute, and you'll see that you it ain't on your own. Cause he can allow that stop their heart to stop beating, your blood to stop pumping, and the oxygen to stop flowing. He gave you the breath you're breathing. Yes, sir. He put food on your table. You know, you know, you got you, you, he made some people are hungry, but he made a way for you, daughter. Yeah, he allowed food to be on your table. You not sleeping in the street. Uh huh. He made a way for you, girl. Yeah. He you got a roof over your head. God is a good God. Yes, sir, and the word to be prayed. Yes, sir, and I, I told my daughter, I said, listen here, listen, listen, if, if you get introduced to this thing, you get wrapped up in God, and God get down on you, you have something that the world don't need. All this great big world, all the world don't have this. A whole lot of people in the world, they don't know Jesus uh, in the pardon of their sin. They, they, haven't been, they haven't been born again. Uh huh. They haven't been chained. They haven't been washed. You'll have something that they don't have. You get the Holy Ghost down on the inside. You'll have some power that the, the whole world don't have. Uh huh. Dunamis power, uns unspeakable power. And some will be bubbling up. Do you get this thing right, girl? Mm -hmm. Seek the whole path. Uh huh. If God said, take it all, take it all. Because God said, once you begin to realize, I got to start the way. I forgot all about my time. Once you begin to realize who God is, he's not just my brother or my sister or my mama. He's more than. Yes, sir. He's more than that. Yes, sir. He'll be a father to you. He'll be a mother to you. He'll be your brother. He'll be whatever you need him to be to you. But he's more than that. God is. Mm -hmm. We serve an eternal God. We serve an awesome God. We serve the true and the living God. And I'm trying to introduce you to the, the one that sits up in heaven. Uh-huh. Because heaven is his throne. And he looked down upon the children of men. I'm trying to introduce you to the one who created you. That's what I was trying to tell him. So get to know this one. And get him down on the inside. So when you go to the altar, say, listen, when you go to the altar, don't go with the old, old mad face looking and all that. Sad looking like like you're mad at me. I was the intent to the gate would think you come before his presence. Come before his presence in another another form. Not an unhappy form. Lift your hand. Uh-huh. And let, let words come out your mouth so 
Not only he can hear you, I want to hear you. I want to hear you say thank you, Jesus. Because if I hear you say thank you, Jesus, I'm going to say thank you, Jesus. Uh huh. And I, if I hear you say bless the Lord, the more you say it, I'm going to egg you on, I'm going to urge you on, wherever that word, I'm going to push you. Say, come on, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, you. Glory to your name. Yes, sir. Lift your hand and magnify the Lord because he worthy to be prayed. You could have been cut off. You know, you're going back and forth to school. You hear about these people bringing the guns in school, shooting up the school. Uh, you, it ain't guaranteed you make it home. But God is so merciful. He had a, his loving angel around about you, a hedge about you, and allow you to make it back to your destination. Thank God for his goodness. Thank him for his mercy. Thank him for his love. Yes, sir. So I'll push him. I'm going to stop right there because I ain't going to get to all the... Uh, I ain't going to get to all that. I'm going to just close up the book of my time. My time is just running out. And the more I think about it, the more, woo, the more I want to praise him, Lisa, Sister Lisa. Yes, sir, because God saved me one day. They introduced me to this way called holiness one day. And I tried for my own self. Say, I can push you, daughter. Uh-huh, I can tell you about it. But you got to try for your own self. The Bible says, taste, taste this thing. Oh, oh, taste this thing. Try it out for yourself. Taste and see that the Lord, mm -hmm, not all the other gods, not the God of stones and wood. Uh -huh. Not the other God they worship, the sun, moon, and star. Because there's nothing like our God. I, to the Paul picked up, Leo Paul picked up and said, to the invisible, the immortal, he invisible. You can't, you can't see him with your naked eye. To the invisible, the immortal, he can't die. He from everlasting to everlasting. Uh -huh. He said, thou art God. When there was nothing, that was God. Woo! Uh huh. Well, when there was nothing, nothing existed. God was still there. He was there in the beginning, and when the end come, He will still be right there from everlasting to everlasting. So I'm trying to trying to help you to be introduced to this God. And I thank God for my mama, uh huh, and dad, and, and grandma, and those that those that made me go to church at an early age. Yes, I strayed away. Yeah, I did. But I had enough sense. When trouble, uh-huh, so I believe David picked it up. He said, before I was afflicted, uh-huh, before trials and, and all these things, because a man that is born of a woman got a few days and, and many trouble. Before, before trouble came, I was, a, I, I went astray. I went the wrong direction. I erred. I went the wrong path. But when trouble came, uh, some kind of way, I, I came to my senses and I began to call because it, it was instilled in me. I began to call on the name of the Lord. I tried it for myself. The Lord saved me. I'm down here sinking in sin, oh God. But, but I heard that you are the Savior. I heard that you can deliver me. I heard that you can pick me up out of this thing. I heard that you can change my situation. I heard that you can turn me around, Lord, and I see how filthy I am. Because when the prophet stood, I think when I was there and the king of and the day king of the day, he said, I saw the Lord. He was high and lifted up in the throne of uh, his glory field and temple. He said, I said, the prophet said, woe is me, woe, woe. Woe is me, I'm filthy, I'm dirty. I'm standing in the presence of a holy God. Woe is me. Well, I'm undone. I'm, I'm not clean. I'm not perfect. I'm not holy in such a way. I'm not worthy to be in the presence of this holy God. Woe is me. Yes, sir. Woe is me. Woe is me. Woe is me. I will sink it down and say, Lord, I'm filthy. Lord, I need, I need cleansing. I need wash, washing. Uh, and he heard my cry and said, save me. Save me, Lord. You know, when you, you, you know, you, your kids and everything, you don't, you're doing it because your mama or your daddy tell you, tell them say you, say, save me, Lord. Yeah, I want to be saved. See, it ain't coming from your heart, yeah. But it, it keep on telling, say, tell the Lord, say you. Uh huh. Say you, put it in, put them in them now. Put it in them now. Make them say it, make them say it over and over to get down on the inside and they begin to say it by themselves. Save me, Jesus. Save me, Jesus. Save me, Jesus. Save me, Jesus. They begin to realize they need a savior. I'm hoping and praying that the Lord work in the hearts of the children. Yes, sir. 
work in the hearts and the mind of the children because there's many influence and things out here. Uh -huh. Everywhere you see many, many distractions. It's all over. I don't get, whatever you do, that's a distraction there. Yes, sir. Many things that keep you occupied, keep you away from learning anything about the knowledge of God, keep you from getting a relationship with God, and be, keep you from beginning to really realize who God is and, and who you are. Uh -huh. If you get in God, uh, you will, I told you you were fearfully, I got to stop. You were fearfully and wonderfully made. You were special in all of God's creation. He didn't make the angels like him. No, he didn't make the four-footed beast like him. Oh, no, he didn't do that. But he looked at me and formed man out of the dust of the earth. Uh -huh, and breathed him. In his image, he made man. Yes, sir. Uh -huh, he made us a little different from all the other creatures. So we are somebody. And sin just got in there. And, this, and then turned that thing and messed it up, corrupt that thing. But we have a loving God. Because the Bible says, for God so loved. The world that he, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, that means me, whosoever believe it, uh -huh, should not perish, but have eternal life. God wants you to live. And I'm telling my daughter, you really want to see me again because one day I'm going home. I ain't going to be here all way. If you love me like Jesus said, if you really love me, like Jesus said, Jesus said, if you love me, I heard you say it out your mouth. But down on the inside, if you really love me from the heart, you'll keep my commandment. That's what Jesus said. So I tell my daughter, if you really love me, uh huh, get a hold of Jesus Christ. If you really want to see me again, because I'm going up and yonder one of these old days. I'm, I got to lay down this body, I got to lay down and die just for a little while. The spirit going on because he be asking for about the spirit going on be with the Lord. But I'm coming back and get this body. Don't believe, don't get it twisted. I'm coming back one day. Because it's said, it's said in the, in the scriptures, uh -huh, the, the Lord himself would descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel. And the dead, so I might lay this body down, but I'm coming back and get my body. One of these old days. But if you want to go, you be where I am, you want to see me, get Jesus down on the inside. Because uh if you die and go to that, that other place, that place that made for the devil and his angel, if you die and go to that wicked place, that, that God-forsaken place, that terrible place, that miserable place where they say weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth, pain and suffering, all those things, and, and the worm never died, and the fire never go out, the fire not quenched, and you go to that place, you'll never see me again because I'm living to live again. I'm living uh -huh, to go up there with, with my Lord and Savior is. So if you, really, if you really love me like you say you love me from the heart, do like I told you. Seek ye the Lord while, while he may be found and just call on him. That's why when you go to church, go to the altar uh -huh, and, and call on him. Because uh -huh, he told you, call on the name of the Lord. So that's what I'm trying to do. And she been doing that. She been going to the altar the last three times, two times I went there. Come on. Uh -huh. Come on, let's go to the altar. Uh -huh. go, with this, go with your big sister. Uh, when, the first time we stood back there in the, in the, in the, they had the altar call, we stood back there in the seat. And Quilla began to magnify the Lord and get into the praise and worship of God. I, I began to whisper in her, in her ear. Uh -huh. My younger daughter, I started to whisper. You see your sister? Why you think she doing this? Thing? Why you think she magnified the Lord like that? Why you think? Why you think she doing this thing? Uh huh. What's going through your mind? Uh huh. You see how she praising God? You got to learn to go up there to the altar and try to try your best to get in, get into the to the presence of God because He told you to seek Him, seek Him early. Why he may be found and call on him while he's near and taste and see that the Lord is good. You got to be in, get into this thing here. Don't just go up there and, and people, the, the, the preacher saying, tell him thank you. No, tell him thank you. Open up your mouth because the scripture said he inhabits the praises of his people. Uh, you open your mouth and shout and say, let the devil know I thank God for he is good. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let me know. Thank you, Lord. Uh, let the world know. Thank you. I'm thankful to God for all that he done for me. 
uh -huh, and all that he deserving of my praise. Lord, you're deserving of my worship. Lord, you deserve of adoration. You're the worthy. You're worthy, Lord. You're worthy, oh God. So I'm working on it. Y'all keep on praying for them. You pray for my kids, I'm going to pray for yours. Yes, sir, because I want to see all of them saved. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. I want to see everybody say. I want to see my, my son say, my daughter say, my daughter-in-law, my son-in-law, uh -huh. my niece and nephew, my aunts and uncle, uh -huh. dog kid, all them kind of kid. I want to see them all say. People in Walmart, people I'm seeing on the street, people, my co-worker, I want to see them save, Lord. See, because he said in the word, that when you get a heart after God, huh? he said in his word, he would not let the wicked perish, but all, he wanted everybody. He would, that's why he gave his son, he wanted everybody to be saved. Uh -huh. Sin was the cause of it all. I was perfect and upright. He, the Bible says he made man perfect and upright, but sin got into me. See who sin got down in my members and corrupted me. Uh -huh, made me miserable and naked and, and all those things. Sin uh -huh, took off the, the, the royal garment that, that Christ gave me. And I put on that, 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 that defile robe, the robe of sin. Mm -hmm. But I began to come into the knowledge of God and know that I need to be changed. That's why somebody said, wash me. Uh, wash me, Lord. David said, wash me thoroughly. I wash me. You know, when we go, we take a, I got to stop. I clear, I got to stop. We go take a bath. You know, we wash all over on the outside. We wash, we wash. But David said, get down on there. I want you to wash my heart. Ooh, I want you to wash, wash my mind, Lord, uh, that I can take right. Wash my heart, Lord. Ooh, I got some down on the inside. See, like I can't shake it, but I, I need you to wash my heart that I can love right, Lord. Woo, thank you, Jesus. Uh -huh, wash my feet that I can walk right, Lord. Wash my inner part, oh God. Ah, uh, somebody said, what down on the inside? It's going to work. Work on the outside. I get that inside clean. They're going to start to work it on the outside. I got to stop. Sin. 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 I'm so glad that we serve a loving God, a holy God, a righteous God. I'm so glad we serve a merciful God and a forgiving God. He didn't have to forgive me, but I'm so glad. I'm, I'm so glad he forgave me. All my sin, uh -huh, all my sin that I even committed in my youth, all those, those sins uh -huh, in my past before I came to him, all those sins. And now I'm, I'm walking in newness of life. I'm walking after the, after the spirit and not after the flesh. Thank you, Lord. We're going to pray. I got to start. Yeah, I'm just going to cut it off right there because sin Sin is the cause of it all. Sin is the cause for Jesus the Christ, the anointed one, the Savior, to die on the cross for your sins and mine. Uh, because Jesus knew the where I was headed, where we were all headed. Uh -huh. He knew where we were going. And he knew we needed a Savior from the foundation of the world. It already was written, uh -huh, already prepared that he was going to die and shed his blood. That's why they pick it up. Isaiah, I believe, pick it up and said, he was wounded. They beat him all night. He was wounded for my, ooh, my transgressions. He was bruised for all my iniquity, my individually. I know y'all included, but I'm talking about me now. He was bruised for my, because I'm saved now. He gave me opportunity. He gave me a chance. Uh -huh. He was bruised. He was bruised. Uh, but my iniquity, the chastisement of my peace. That's why I can only get peace in Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. The chastisement of my peace was upon him. Yes, uh, but I'm healed now. I'm healed from that sinful, sinful nature. I'm healed from that, the, the, the death of sin. I'm healed. I'm healed now. He made me whole again. 
But what the law could not do, the law tried to train me and talk, tell me the way that I should go, the way that I should walk. But what the law couldn't do, the law couldn't save me. It just showed me how sinful I really was and how I need a holy God to come in and wash me and sanctify me and make me holy. For what the law could not do because it was weak. Through the flesh, God sent his only begotten son. In the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of God might be revealed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I enjoyed my, your testimony. First thing, I enjoyed the song you sung. I clear my soul loving, my soul loving. Uh-huh. And that's my, my soul standing in awe of God. Uh-huh. He's amazing. He's a wonder. That's why they pick up. He's a, he's a wonder down, down in my soul. When I think about his goodness, when I see his handiwork, when I see he can just speak a word and change situations, uh -huh, my soul is in, in awe and wonder at his majesty. Uh -huh. I thank God for how he touched your body. I thank God. Somebody say it can only get better. It get better. That's why you sung that song. Every day with Jesus gets sweeter. And sweet, it get better and better every day. I walk, I talk, I life with in, in Christ. Jesus get better and better. Not that God get better, uh huh. Cause he's he is. He already what he gonna be, uh huh. But we get get wrapped up in him more and more. We start to see in his beauty. We start to see his love, his majesty, his power. We get we under, we begin to understand it get better and better. The deeper we go, the better it get. The sweeter it gets. So I understand what it is. I'm beginning to understand mm -hmm, how good God is. Yes, yeah, so I'm beginning to understand what kind of God we serve. And if we serve a holy God like this, an awesome God like this, well, there ain't no need for us to worry and wonder and all those things. Somebody said God will make a way. God will work it out. Some kind of way in his own time. God going to do it. So we got to speak to ourselves. I got to stop. I got to pray. Father God, I thank you. I got to I thank you for your goodness and your mercy. Oh, thank you for your word. Thank you for your word. Your word that delivers. Your word that heals. The sin of your word, you sent your word. And your word heals them. Thank you for your divine word. Thank you for the power that's in your word, Lord. Oh, God, thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm just going to magnify your name. I'm just going to bless your holy name. I'm just going to praise your name for your goodness and your mercy towards us, towards the children of men. Lord, I love you deep down within my soul. Thank you for how, how you sent your word, oh God. Thank you, oh God, for making a way that and paying the debt that we couldn't pay. We owed the debt, but we couldn't pay the debt. But thank you for paying that debt, Lord. Thank you for forgiving us. Uh -huh. Thank you for having mercy. Oh, thank you. Thank you for saving a wretch like me. Oh, because I was undone. Oh, I was miserable, oh God. Oh, God, I was in a bad situation, a bad state. But you reached out and saved me. Lord, I want to say thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, so I know if you did it for me, you can do it for them all, Lord. Oh, that's why you told them, come, come, come. The spirit in the bride say, come. Come unto me and you'll give rest. You said it in your word. Oh, God, help somebody to make up in their mind to come now. Come without money. Come without price. Come. Lord, I'm asking you to save somebody. I'm asking you to deliver somebody. I'm asking you to set somebody free, oh God. Oh God, look on our children, oh God. Oh God, touch their mind. Touch their hearts, oh God. In the name of Jesus, save them. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Protect them, but save them. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I'm asking you to look on my loved one, Lord. Look on my daughter-in-law, son-in-laws, oh God. Oh, oh no, all my kin folks is in sin, Lord. Don't let them rest in sin, oh God. Trouble their mind. Don't give them peace, oh God. Trouble their heart, oh God, until they cry out, till they call on your name. Oh God, and I'll give you the praise. 
Turn hearts around. Those hard-hearted ones. Oh, God. Soften that heart, oh, God. Oh, God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, one that want to go their own way, oh, God. Touch that mind, oh, God. Turn it around, Lord. You got all power. Uh -huh. You able to do it. Sin got them blind. Uh -huh. Sin got them walking in darkness. But you able, you able, you able to deliver. And I stand here, oh, God, in the gap saying, Lord, Deliver them, Lord. Uh, open up the eyes, oh God. Open up the ears, oh God. Touch the hearts, oh God. Turn them around, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Ah, uh, for your glory, Lord, do it. For your praise and your honor, do it, Lord. Lord, I magnify your name. Uh, I give you glory. Oh God, I give you praise. Help us, oh God. Help us to train our children. Help us to teach our children. I know it get hard, oh God. And, oh God, in the name of Jesus, help us, oh God, to do what needs to be done, Lord. That our children will be saved. Uh huh. Because you said in the last day, you're going to pour out your spirit. And our sons and daughters. Uh huh. Yes, sir. And I want my sons and daughters. Woo, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, to call on your name. I want my children saved, Lord. Fill with your power. Fill with your love. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Look on us tonight, Lord, according to your will. Lord, thank you for what you already done. Thank you for how you already delivered. Thank you for how you already changed situation. Thank you for what you've done already, Lord. But I know that you're going to do greater things. Ooh, because you're a great, big, wonderful, awesome, marvelous God. You're going to do great and marvelous things. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, do it in us, Lord. In the name of Jesus, help us to put off every day, to take off every day. Those things would not please in your eyesight. Help us to take it off every day. Uh -huh. And put on righteousness. Put on true holiness every day. In the name of Jesus. Help us to walk in the light. Uh -huh. In the name of Jesus. And we'll give you the praise, Lord. Oh, God. Save, 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 save. Save, save by your divine power. I know sometimes, Lord, the situation looks hopeless. Uh, the more we pray, the worse they get, oh, God. But I'm believing in you, Lord. You said you would do it, Lord. You said you would do it. This is my soul. You said you will give me the desires of my heart. And this is my desire, Lord. You told me, make my request known. My desire is, God, that my sons and daughters, daughter-in-law, son-in-law, kinfolk, oh, my desire is to them be saved, Lord. All those under the sound of my voice, oh, God, I'm praying that you touch, fill with the power, fill with your love, fill with your peace, fill with your joy, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I bless your wonderful name because you're worthy. You're worthy, Lord. You're worthy, you're worthy. You're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy. You, you allow me to under, come into the understanding of who you really are. Oh, God, and I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor. I ask you to take me down deeper, Lord. Deeper in you, Lord. Deeper in your word. Deeper in your love. Deeper in the spirit, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I give you praise. I give you praise. I magnify your name. Help us to check ourselves each and every day. You said in the word, examine yourself and see if we be in the faith. See if we be in the faith that were once delivered unto the saints. You told us to seek the old path. And Lord, I'm seeking the old path. I want to be caught up in the old path because you said it's the good way. Oh, God, and I know there's a way to see me right, but the end of that way is the way of death. Help me, oh God, to get off the broad road and stay on the straight and narrow road. In the name of Jesus, keep me, Lord. Keep me, Lord. Keep me at the hour of the Keep me, Lord. Keep us. Oh, God, keep us. Each and every day. Keep us, Lord. Uh-huh. Don't allow. Don't allow the devil to do us no harm. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. He might try, 
But Lord, he said in your word, oh God, you'll live up a standard. He can hitherto, he can go, but no farther. You'll live up a standard. Oh God, cover us on your blood. Cover us on your blood. Give us your peace that surpasses all understanding. And I ever give you the praise, the honor, and the glory which is already done. We thank you, Lord. We bless your holy name in Jesus' name.